Hey there, welcome to this Roll for Crit video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Mondrian Blocks, this little puzzle game, which is mostly designed for a single player, but if you have multiple sets, you can sort of compete against each other and see who can solve the puzzle the quickest, is, as you, I can send that sentence, about solving puzzles. As you can see, there are actually different color sets. We have the red one here and the white one as well. They come in some other ones. Mostly, they have some different puzzles on the end. Now, each set, is this nice little box. And if we rotate the lock, you can see the puzzle pieces themselves. And if we rotate the other way, the puzzle cards. That's right. Each card is going to provide you with the setup for a puzzle for you to solve. And what they will do is show you where you want to position these black pieces. Uh, and it can be oriented anyway because it's a square, so it doesn't matter as long as you have it aligned to the position and the orientation that you are facing the card from. And then your challenge, once you have put those into place matching the card, is to take the rest of these colored pieces and fit them all onto this board perfectly. So if you do it correctly, if you solve the puzzle, there will not be any gaps anywhere on this board. And you know, there's no rules other than that. There's no turn order or anything like that. You can take pieces off and on as you please until you're able to solve it properly. It's just about trying to figure out the best way to get this puzzle solved. And if you are playing competitively with multiple sets, as we said, then it's both players trying to finish the same puzzle the fastest. Each one comes with four different colors of puzzles, and they each have 22 different ones. Each card is double-sided, so there's a lot you can do there. And you could probably even replay some of the same puzzles multiple times because if you're like me, you're going to forget <laughs> how you're supposed to solve them at all. Yes, there are over 80 puzzles included in each set alone. And they do have more challenges online, which I'm sure will grow as uh, time passes because they'll come up with more ideas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this really is less about, I think, a, what I guess would think in my mind a game, but more of an exercise of the brain. You're really trying to think differently like, okay, if I place this block here, obviously that's a bad one because I'm going off. You're not supposed to go off the board. <laughs> right. It's really trying to think of how can I fit things differently. I think that's what makes things easier or harder. It's maybe a bit more forgiving because obviously when this single piece is in the center, it's a bit more annoying. Yeah, yeah, that can be a challenge. Yeah, this makes me think of... You know, there are other kinds of games in this style, like where sometimes it's a traffic jam or animals mm. in a zoo, you know, where you're trying to like move a piece through something. It has the feel of one of these kind of old school puzzles that like when I was a kid, I would love if I was at a museum or something and they had at the gift shop little little toys like this that aren't just a toy, but like this actually has a game to play. It's the perfect thing to just do and not think about too hard. You could be doing something else in the background, almost sometimes like like an office desk toy, you know, just something to have on display and play with, like yeah. a Rubik's Cube a little bit. Well, it's also nice. I mean, I brought it before the way the locking mechanic mechanic works. This is definitely something that could easily, you said in the office, but it could be like you have it in the office, but then you take it with you if you take like the right back somewhere because I think you could probably just set this up on your lap and as long as you keep the pieces there or something. I don't think it's, yes, perfect it's for, very transport friendly. Yeah, you could play this on a plane. You could play this on a train. You could play this in the back seat of a car like because you can just keep the pieces up here and have it open. You don't have to worry about stuff flying all over the place. Yeah, I mean, they actually just fit nicely there. Yeah, I didn't even realize <laughs> that they actually have little spaces for it. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Learning new things all the time. You know, the storage underneath. And if you get multiple sets, um, I'm because they all have different puzzle cards, you could definitely like fit a bunch of these, probably all of them, I'm guessing, in just one one of these. You could have like one perfect ultimate set of the, the puzzles. The uber block. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did find, uh, and your mileage may vary, you know, as I started playing it, I more and more, I kind of got into a groove where I definitely felt like the these long blue ones, I don't know if you had any patterns or strategies like this. I always started with these. As you can see, anytime there's a spot where there's only one width of a block can fit there, these are your only two blocks that have that they're like a single length right you know what I mean? well i think that's what they when you see the more difficult ones they're they're not going to be as obvious like, right right that's the only thing can fit there <laughs> which uh, that's why i think going back to the idea of sort of the mental exercise you start picking up patterns and things like that and starting your brain starts to recognize like okay this is what i need to do if i want to get this to fit i need to get this long piece in there 
because it's going to take up a lot of space. Mm-hmm. Granted, yeah. that's a two. That doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it really does think, though. Sometimes you're like, I wish these were my last pieces. <laughs> right, right. You can see, I'm, right now, I'm like, I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. Oh, I did it. I did it. You saw it. Oh, that wasn't planned. I just figured it out. Um, it's satisfying. It's fun to do. And even when they're not, you know, when you get to the more challenging ones or the easier ones, I just really enjoyed this as, like you said, like an exercise and activity just something to do almost like doing sudoku or a crossword mm-hmm. puzzle you know mm-hmm. just just a fun little activity definitely good for kids but as an adult man i also enjoyed my time with it <laughs> and the, even though there are different puzzles between different sets i don't feel like it'd be like man i need to buy all four copies because I, you can find more puzzles online if you want some more difficult ones it's not going to be like this one has a really crazy puzzle in the white box <laughs> yeah so like I, I said i'm pretty sure you could take these off the board right now and i would forget how i did that <laughs> uh, so the, the worse your memory is the more longevity you'll get well maybe the more you do this your memory will improve well that's true that's how they get you to buy the extra the extra sets but yeah so it's called mondrian blocks and it's got there's these cute little packages like we showed off i mean uh, if this is the kind of thing that you're into, this sort of little solo puzzle, or like we said, trying to get competitive with it, uh, it's it's worth a pickup. I think it's a fun little distractor from the rest of your daily activities. I think it's solid for plenty of age groups. Uh, in particular, I think the travel thing will be greater for the younger audience because it's going to be much harder. Even though you could probably lose a piece, I think the fact that they're all up here would be difficult and pretty easy to distract and clean up. You yeah. know, yeah, nice, nice and neat to put away. You don't need the box anymore. This is this works. Yeah, that box is only for the video. We don't need it after this. <laughs> You're done. Uh, so let us know in the comments what you think about Mondrian blocks. If this is something that you're a fan of, uh, if you have. Uh, any experience with it, thoughts whatsoever, talk to us down below. Very interested to hear what people have to say about these Mondrian blocks. Mm -hmm. And which set, if you've already gotten some, did you choose? Did you go for a favorite color? Did you do some research to find out this one had the hardest puzzles? I don't think that's out there, but maybe it is. (laughs) (laughs) Who knows? You could surprise us. Uh, Thanks for watching. My name is Jonathan. I'm Will. And this was Roll for Crit. Thank you for watching this whole video. It means a lot. If you want to help support us more, of course, you can simply just click that like and subscribe down there. You can go to our Patreon or visit our merch store. Fun fact, if you're at the high roller tier in our Patreon, you actually get a discount for some of the awesome merch we have in our store. So check both out.